How's it going, folks? So I got a viewer request video here for y'all today. I'll be checking out the band called Lord, and the name of this song is Set in Stone. I don't believe I've heard this band before. It doesn't really sound familiar. Um, it's tough to say because the, the name Lord, you know, it's not super abstract, but I really don't think I've heard of them. That looks like they're an Australian band, and this song is from an album they released back in 2000. Nine. So, uh, really looking forward to checking this out. Like I said, there's a viewer request. This song was requested by this ranger right here. Thank you. And without further ado, let's give this bad boy a listen, shall we? Rangers, go. Now this is building the anticipation.
there's some great riffage going on in that song there. I love the video too. They did a really cool job with the video. Uh, it just it was fun to watch. Not only the band playing, but uh, just the invasion happening and, and all of the kind of running and stuff's exploding. And it's just cool. But yeah, you know, first of all, I mean, the, the guitar work in this song, like I said, the riffage is just gnarly. You know, I just love the, the riffs, you know, very driven, rhythmic, uh, you know, heavy. And then all the shredding going along with it, it, it just, it all works so well together, you know, because uh, I've said this before, but I always like when the, the guitar solos and stuff don't really pull you out of the song because a lot of times, you know, you have the song going and then there's a, a clear, distinct section in the song where it's just boom, here's solo time, you know, and it's like, okay, here's solo and then boom, back into the song, you know, it feels a bit detached. and. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of like a traditional way of doing it, I guess. But, you know, I always like when it's all woven into the song. So there's no clear break, you know, of where, okay, it's just solo time. And now we're back into the song. You know, everything kept moving. You know, the, the riffs kept going. And there was lots of solos going on, too. But it, it just all worked with the momentum and the energy of the song itself and the, the melody. And, you know... It, it just flowed really, really well. And I, I dug that because I never kind of had to stop and say, okay, here, here's just the solo. You know, you could keep just banging your head and, and going with the momentum of the song and, and this and that while enjoying all the noodling happening. Yeah, if y'all know what I mean, you know, I just really, really like when the, the solos, either plural or singular, go with the melody and movement of the song and don't really break away, you know. Uh, again, there's a time and place, you know, I'd be a flat out liar if I said that there weren't some that kind of break out of the song that I don't absolutely love. But I just really, really enjoy when it's just woven into the song and they did that really well here. It all just, just moved very organically. So yeah, th that's that. But yeah, the drum work too was killer. You know, I love the fills and, and just the, the, the pacing of it and the vocals. You know, he had a really great voice for this style. Um, one thing I'll say is this song is solid. It, it's downright solid. You know, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. But, you know, it. Well, while I was listening to it, it, it doesn't really do anything that kind of breaks the mold or really sets itself apart it's and it, you know sometimes i find myself getting caught up with things that i say and when i say something doesn't break the mold that doesn't mean i'm always looking for every song to reinvent the wheel not at all i mean that's very difficult to do these days and it, it does not have to do that it, it can be a certain formula and, and still kind of stand out or quote unquote break the mold and when I say things like that, I just mean there's like a, a standard for every style. And if you fall squarely within that, that standard, you know, it, it, it can still be very solid. But if, if there's nothing there that really kind of pushes it beyond, and again, not reinventing the wheel, but just something in there that brings something extra that really makes the song or album or whatnot pop it and, and kind of stand out from the crowd in some way. Um, you know, this song doesn't necessarily do that, you know, but it, it's still super solid in its own right. But one thing that I was thinking while I was hearing this song and I was thinking this very solid, you know, doesn't necessarily stand out from the crowd in this style, which I would kind of consider like the, the traditional heavy metal style, the new wave, whatever. I, you know, I get confused with a lot of those new wave of traditional heavy metal, new wave of British heavy metal, or just kind of like the classic heavy metal. I don't know, the, the semantics of it all. You know, I really don't keep up with all of that. But so I kind of just put them all into one group of kind of a, a traditional or classic heavy metal sound. And, and that's what this was to me anyhow. But one thing I took into consideration, though, is that this is back from 2009. 
And, and I could be dead wrong, but like at that time, I, I was listening strictly to kind of like the 2000s era of power metal, you know, through and through. It wasn't until s s later years that I started kind of incorporating some of this type of music, that, that classic or traditional heavy metal sound into what I was listening to and including that into my power metal listening. So in recent years, it seems to me that there's been a real renaissance of, of this style of music, whereas back in 2009, and again, I could be dead wrong, I don't feel like it was as saturated with this style. So I think putting this song into context of when it was released back in 2009, I think it would have a lot more of a fresh sound to it, and I think it would have stood out from the crowd a, a bit more than it would say if this song was released today. Because again, I feel like in, in recent years there's been a real renaissance in, in this style and this genre of that classic heavy metal. So there's a lot of it. So it's more difficult to stand out. But back in 2009, I don't think there was as much of it. I mean, of course there was some, but I just feel like this song, it, it definitely would have shined a lot more back then. and stood out from the crowd more back when it was first released compared to, you know, listening to it today. So, you know, I definitely take that into consideration, but regardless, even with this being released in 2009, I do think it, it still definitely holds its own today and it has a really good sound, great musicianship. It's catchy, you know, I like the whole set in stone thing, nice melody, and just solid all, all, all around. Uh, you know, and that's really what I got to say uh, about that. So I'm really curious if this band, are they, are they still kicking? Are they still going, you know, strong? Uh, or did they break up? Or, you know, how long were they around for? You know, let me know in the comments below. And, and thank you so much to the Ranger who requested this song. Um, I'm going to have to look into this band more. And again, if folks, let me know if they're still going. You know, has their sound evolved a bit? Or are they are they still killing it? Still doing, still doing, doing well? You know, let me know. And second of all, if this is your first time listening to this band, just like for me, what do you think of this song? You know, did you dig it? Let's talk about it. Thank you all so much for tuning in, and stay tuned because tomorrow, reaction to the new Serenity song with the mighty Roy Khan as a guest vocalist so i'm super excited for that like i said that'll be the reaction for tomorrow so look forward to that bad boy i'm sure looking forward to listening to it haven't recorded it yet but i will very soon anywho thanks again for tuning in catch you all next time ranger